The U.S. economy appears to be escaping a potentially major blow to the economy. Now, Canadian freight trains are getting back on their schedule after a labor dispute largely paralyzed them yesterday. That's according to the Canadian labor minister who ended the lockout. Now, the Teamsters are set for arbitration with Canada's biggest rail companies, CPKC and also CNN. We have offered to improve wages, to improve rest, and to provide more predictability and scheduling. You have to be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and all you get is a two-hour notice that you're going to work. About 30 percent of freight they carry crosses the U.S.-Canadian border. Truck capacity can't make up for that kind of supply chain hit. So analysts say that even drinking water depends on trains because treatment plants, well, they need chlorine.